A Christmas Card, a miraculous ladybug fanfiction written and narrated by Eleanor Rose. Artwork provided by Curfey. You can find a link to their social media in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and check out other videos on this channel for more fanfiction. And if you'd like to further support the channel, don't forget to leave a like and a comment to help the YouTube algorithm. Thanks! And here you go, good kitty, Santa bellowed, handing Cat Noir a letter. He was just as curious as Ladybug was, but Mr. Claus was already gone by the time he found his tongue. A Christmas card? Ladybug questioned, taking it from his hands. I guess. Cat took it back from her and slid a claw over it to open the envelope. A picture fell out, floating one U twist at a time. It was a drawing of the two of them by a Christmas tree. Dear Santa, Ladybug began, reading the accompanying letter, I think I've been a good boy this year. I've taken my meds and only tried to escape rounds three times in the last four months. If you could please send Ladybug or Cat Noir to my ward, that would be great. I watch them all the time on TV and I have their movie memorized. Thank you. A letter from a kid? Cat Noir asked, scooping up the drawing. Yeah, from the children's hospital. Cat Noir didn't so much as blink. Should we go tonight or tomorrow? If we go tomorrow, we'll miss Christmas, Ladybug said, turning over the letter. Should we bring anything? Maybe a Santa hat? Cat glanced down at the drawing. You can be Santa, and I'll be a reindeer. Or you can be a rude elf. That joke's getting old, my lady. I've only told it twice. And the third time lost the charm, he teased. Meet you there? She sighed and nodded. Meet you there. Cat Noir whistled on his way to the hospital. The last time he and Ladybug were here, he got a peppermint kiss from her. His whistle changed to a hum not wanting to wake the children in the intensive care unit. He counted down door numbers, marking them off one by one until he found the letter's writer. The door was already cracked, showcasing a boy too small for the age on the door laughing with Ladybug. The view warmed his heart more than Christmas time did. And so, like that, he joined her and spent the next hour chatting with a kid who had stars in his eyes that outshone the decorative lights strung on the plastic tree in the corner. While his home may no longer be warm, he was happy to spend his Christmas Eve here. This was the best Christmas Eve he hadn't ever imagined. All thanks to a child's Christmas card. Thank you so much for listening. You can find other Miraculous Ladybug fanfiction by checking out videos on this channel. And once more, a thank you goes out to Curfey for allowing the use of their art. I'll catch you guys in the next one!